Good morning, as it is morning at this time. I am, I have so much work to do when it comes to school and corporate tax. I don't know why I'm doing so many videos. Well, I do know why. I want to give um, people a gospel that they can trust in, a message that people can put their hope in. And when I read the Bible and history and I look at the state of man, I see two things. I see grace which takes all pride away and doesn't exalt itself in itself and the pride of men. And this is written from the very beginning in the, in the scriptures with Adam and Eve. God created the heavens and the earth and this argument has been going on since the beginning. So that's why I trust in the Bible. I'm not, I don't believe in any other, I don't believe the Muslims, I don't believe, you know, I don't believe the Jews have it all together, but I do believe in the scriptures. Do I, do I believe that the Bible is perfect? I don't believe it has to be. Because I see an overarching message. And that message was that without grace, man left to himself to become, uh, to get to heaven by himself, or to do anything by himself, leads to self-exaltation. It leads, leads to the yeast of the Pharisees. That's in all men, because all men strive, all people strive to become the rulers of the world. Even though they say not, absolute power corrupts absolutely. And so I see this message from the time of Adam and Eve. And I see also the message talking about a Messiah to come throughout history that's going to crush Satan's head. Well, the essence of Satan is man's exaltation, and the only message that can destroy that, mess that, 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 that man biting into the fruit of knowledge is something that's outside of man, that man can't attain to by himself. In other words, if man could somehow or another save himself, then he would be, have something to boast in, and he would exalt it over his fellow man. This is why the message of the Bible is so perfect. Every other religion is about you. And even Christianity has become about you. It's changed the message. The message of the Bible is opposite the message of all the other ideologies because they all have to do with what you do. How you, through self-asceticism, through, through dancing, or through trying to be holy, by acting holy, by making yourself humble, by whipping yourself, by doing... All religions do this. But Christ broke the chain and said, I've taken the law away from you, and what's going to make you a holy person has nothing to do with you. It's about the love that I put in your heart. Boom. I did it on the cross because you couldn't do it for yourself. Um, the message going to the Jews and the Jews rejecting it because they thought they would get puffed up in their own Judaism and their own law was them being like Satan, knowing good and evil. They puffed themselves up, and the door to the Gentiles being open and even the Gentiles puffing themselves up. And so, you know, these whole views of the world and, and the kingdom to come and it being rolled up and there being a, a new kingdom, that gives us hope. Because if you think that the message of salvation has come and somehow or another um, um, everything happened at the time of the fall of Jerusalem, and now we're living in the new kingdom. Is this it, really? Man still exalting himself, puffing himself up, acting the way he is. The Illuminati, the, 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 the currency of the world becoming one world government. Is it that what's happening now is that the world is healing and we're becoming heaven on earth? Because that was the lie that was told to them in the garden. That was what the Tower of Babel was about people on earth making heaven on earth. No, when the new kingdom comes, it has nothing to do with what we built. And if this is the kingdom, it stinks. It's not the kingdom. The kingdom is much better than that. 
the kingdom will be a place where there, there won't be any buying or selling or people exalting themselves or trying to get better in business or governments taking over or people uh, uh, spitting on other people or, or exalting themselves. This is why there were arguments. Well, who will be the, who will sit in the in the bigger in the higher place in heaven? It, it all doesn't matter, because when Christ gives abundance to all and levels the playing field in heaven, no person can exalt himself over another person because we're all under grace, and that's the only way the new kingdom can work. So I really believe that if if you think that this message or the whole history of, of Christianity is going to end with this. I think maybe you need to, to think again that God is much bigger than that. And if he sent Jesus to show everybody this message and nobody's listening to it and they're still exalting themselves, then what, what good was the whole scriptures to begin with? <laughs> Why even write it? Right? Anyway, that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to tell people that I'm probably going to be doing a lot of studying and I'm leaving you you know it's my it's not just my opinion I have a lot backing up what I say and really I want to show you a hope in something that's true and that can be proven something that's irrefutably pro proven this message that came through history and this whole idea of clinging to the Bible and this is what caused so much problems in the church. Everybody's trying to dissect every word, and none of you are getting it right anyway. Even if it was perfect, you'd all misinterpret it. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be perfect. What it is is the message of Jesus Christ taking the law away because you can't do it yourself. And if you could do it yourself, you would use that as a whip to bring everybody under slavery. This is what Satan did. Anyway... Uh, that's my logic. Um, I, I wish everybody well. I hope I'll be studying like crazy. I won't be around that much. I shouldn't be because I have finals coming. And hopefully I'll be able to, to kick some videos when I'm done with school. Thanks a lot. Take care.